Affordance is an important visual quantity to learn for various robotic applications. It equips robots with actionable priors about how to interact with diverse objects and scenes. In computer vision and robotic literature, many papers have investigated how to model, perceive, and understand agent-object interaction. On the contrary, there are much fewer works studying the object-object affordance learning problem, which also plays an important role in robotic manipulation and planning. For example, to fit a bucket into a cabinet, we need to place it on shelves that are flat, having enough room, and providing enough height. Here is our predicted object-object affordance, from which we can immediately rule out the second shelf of this cabinet since the gap is too small to fit the given bucket. Our predicted affordance also predicts where the bucket is likely to be placed. This information helps the downstream robotic planner to select the possible shelves and prioritize the highlighted locations for planning and searching. There is a rich space of object-object interaction scenarios in our daily life, such as placing an object on a messy tabletop, fitting an object inside a cabinet, pushing an object using a tool, stacking an object over another object, etc. There is also a rich space of 3D shapes from different categories with diverse semantics, rich functionality, and complicated geometry. Very few past works have studied the object-object affordance learning problem, and they are mostly studying on small-scale data and require human annotations or demonstrations for the learning. Our O2O Ford system has many advantages. Firstly, it doesn't need any human demonstration or annotation of the affordance information. Instead, we learn from running several interaction trials in a physical simulator. For example, this video presents a fitting interaction trial where we first place an object inside the drawer and then drive the drawer to get closed in order to query whether the bucket can be placed at this location. In this pushing example, we simulate the interaction of a rack pushing a mug. This is a failed interaction since the mug topples. Secondly, we conduct a large-scale affordance learning. We train our system over 1,785 shapes from 18 object categories in order to make our learned model generalizable to novel shapes. Lastly, but more importantly, our system provides a unified framework to tackle a wide range of object-object interaction tasks. We unify the task inputs, outputs, and environment specifications. For example, all the tasks shown here take two point clouds as inputs, learns to predict an affordance map over the scene point cloud, which indicates the actionable locations for the acting object. At the core of technical contribution, we propose an object kernel point convolution network to reason about detailed interaction between two objects. The network takes as inputs a partial scene scan and a complete acting object point cloud. We first employ two point net plus plus networks to extract per point feature maps. Next, we carry the explicit shape of the acting object to slide over a subsampled set of scene locations and query scene features over the acting object. We combine the two parts of features and then employ a point net encoder to aggregate a global vector summarizing the interacting features. Combining with the other two feature sources, we finally predict a scalar value for the affordance labeling at the current position. We finally interpolate the affordance labeling back to the entire input scene scan. We train the proposed network over the large-scale PartNet mobility dataset and learn meaningful affordance for various tasks. In this placement example, we successfully predict the empty and flat regions over the messy table to place a new bottle, which also takes the volume of the acting object into consideration. For pushing, we see that our network predicts two interesting regions where the soda can may push this box forward without rotating it. We also find that the bottom areas are more likely for successful pushing since pushing at the top may cause the box to overturn. We also perform large-scale quantitative evaluations to prove that our final system works better than two baseline methods and one ablated version of our approach. We directly test our learnt model over real-world data and observe reasonably good predictions. In this result analysis, we see that increasing the size of the mug reduces the chance of putting it inside the drawer as the drawer cannot be further closed containing a big mug. We also observe some detailed affordance heat map changes while we rotate the cuboid-shaped acting object. 